Hi, I'm Harsh from the local stack team. And in this video, we will look at local stacks, new Docker extension and how you can use it to develop and test your AWS cloud and serverless applications on your local machine. Before we jump into local stacks, Docker extension, let us discuss what Docker extensions are. Docker extensions allows you to natively integrate tools and services within Docker desktop to extend its functionality. If you're new to Docker extensions, you can update your Docker desktop to the latest version, and you can navigate to the preferences and click upon the extensions tab to enable the Docker extension. This will allow you to install, uninstall, and use the complete set of extensions feature, including installing and uninstalling all the extensions. LocalStack's Docker extension allows you to control, manage, and update your local stack containers. You can also create, edit, and delete configuration profiles view your local stack container logs, and check the availability of various AWS services that local stack emulates. To install the extension, you will need to go to the extensions marketplace. You can search for local stack right over there, and you will be able to install the extension right here. So let us click upon the install button, and this will start the installation process for the local stacks Docker extension. In the background, this will pull the Docker extension image from Docker Hub and install it on your Docker desktop. With the installation now complete, you're ready to use local stack. When you open the local stack extension for the very first time, you will be prompted to select where local stack will be mounted. You can open the dropdown right over here, choose a username and click upon the confirm button to make sure that local stack is mounted on the given location. Please note that you can always change the amount point by navigating to the configurations. And you can change the mount point by clicking upon this change mount point button. And that will be it. Cool. So now that we are ready to go, let us start local stack. To do that, we will click upon the start button, which will run the local stack container from our official local stack Docker image. If you have not used local stack before, it will pull the official Docker image first and then run the container, which might take some time. Once it started, you will find all the AWS services that has been emulated by the local stack. We can also move to the logs and we can see the container logs right over here. You can see that the local stack is running on port 4566. And this is a port number for the edge service, which serves as a main entry point for all the API invocations. Let us try deploying a simple application to local stacks, local AWS services. We have a very simple application that illustrates a typical web application scenario with some asynchronous request processing happening all in the background. We will use the local stacks Docker extension to deploy the entire local infrastructure using the serverless framework. We have already cloned the repository right over here, and we have a ready-made make file that will easily allow you to install the dependencies and deploy the local infrastructure. To get started, you can get to make usage, and this can show you how you can use this particular make file to install the dependencies and deploy the serverless application. Let us hit make install, and this will install all of the dependencies that we require to deploy this application. Once done, we can get to make deploy, and this will kickstart the serverless framework to start deploying the sample application on local stacks, local infrastructure. Since our serverless application is being deployed, we can navigate to Docker desktop and we can get to see the logs right over here. And you can see all the API invocations happening in real time. If you go back to the terminal, we might be able to see that the serverless application has been deployed. And we have a static website, which you can navigate to, to check out your sample application working right over here. So this is how you can use the local stack Docker extension to readily develop and test your AWS applications right from your local machine. Apart from all of this, we also have the functionality to help you create configuration profiles. A configuration profile is a set of configuration variables that you can create to manage all of the configuration variables that you want to make use of. And internally, all of this is stored inside a .env file in the local stack config directory. You can always create a configuration profile, like let us say pro, if you are a licensed local stack user, and you can set your local stack API key right over here, along with your uh, API key, so that you can use 
uh, local stack by the API key that we provide. So this is just one sample application. We can also save our API key right here. And next time, if you really want to use local stack with the pro API key, you can select pro right here and you can start local stack once again. So that was a quick introduction to local stacks official Docker desktop extension. We would really like you to try it out and pass on the feedback to us. If you have any bug, bugs or if you have any feature request, you can always navigate to our GitHub repository, which is completely free and open source for all our community users. And you can get started uh, with the Docker extension right from here. Thank you and stay tuned for more videos.